found a shoe up a chimney once. There was a little house that we used to stay in in Elsham in Norfolk, which had a sh- when we it was medieval, and it had a shoe up the chimney, which was a kid's shoe, and I was told it was associated with good luck and keeping spirits away and witchcraft and things like that. I don't know, but other than that, not being an expert on foot fashion, <laughs> I don't know much about it. I'm quite struck by how narrow it is. That's someone with tiny, tiny feet. Yes. It's a it's a little child's boot, uh, made of leather, uh, mostly, and we've got the two parts of the upper. We've got a heel section, a little scrap, and then um, the the sole, which is made of several different layers. It still has its shape, as it were, and it's still a little bit flexible. It's got a little bit of sort of hardness, brittleness to it. I expect it's probably post-medieval, I think, but I'm no expert on the shapes of shoes and things. I've conserved many shoes. Um, I've been a conservative for about 11 years, and uh, here in York, and we have a lot of waterlogged deposits tiny little shoes about that similar size to this with a sort of nice sort of um, flap which is then fastened at the side with a little toggle. I don't personally find children's items more evocative than other items. I've treated shoes from shipwrecks for example which is very poignant, can be very poignant because you know that the last person who wore that obviously drowned yeah, and, and I mean, as conservators, I think we are affected by the objects that we treat. Um, and we may not always know exactly how, how that manifests itself, but I think it just, it will add to impressions. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's a bit crumbly. I love a good shoe. And just, um, just a few weeks ago, actually, I was uh, um, out in the Middle East and came across um, a platform leopard, uh, leopard print um, slipper um, kind of a good 40 kilometres from the nearest, nearest uh, habitation. A slight edge of uh, detail to the, um, the trim or the top of the boot there, which is particularly, um, particularly fetching. I'm always quite drawn to uh, the details of artefacts, um, uh, especially how things are constructed and put together. Uh, always something which catch my eye. Cause I, I often work as an archaeological photographer, so I, I get to spend a lot of time looking very closely at very small details in objects. I, I definitely have a um, have a bias towards the aesthetics uh, when I'm when I'm dealing with objects. So my my role and, and personal aim is always to try and get um, get a record which is both useful but uh, also uh, beautiful. I mean, for the for me, with this one of one of the um, striking things is it you know with it being a child's shoe is is the size so quite common common way to 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 relate that is um uh, hold you know, using hands everyone is used to seeing hands all the time and it's quite a good a good scale and something that people can relate to and you really get an idea of just how small the shoe would be and you can imagine putting it onto a small child before going out Mama, you part of the two, and that stays the old part of the shoe.